Picture this, a groundbreaking railway project sweeping across Australia, transforming cities and revolutionizing transportation. But hold on, there's more to this astonishing $125 billion endeavor than just tracks and trains. We're talking about the suburban rail loop in Melbourne, an engineering marvel in the making. This isn't just any project. It's a mammoth 90-kilometer rail loop encircling Melbourne, linking major rail lines from Frankston to Werribee. The suburban rail loop is a three-phase giant, SRL east from Cheltenham to Box Hill, SRL north from Box Hill to Melbourne Airport, and SRL west from the airport to Werribee. While we're looking at a 2050 completion, the first two segments, featuring a 28-kilometer tunneled metro corridor, will welcome passengers by 2035, at a staggering cost of 30 to 50.5 billion dollars. SRL East alone will boast six stunning underground stations, energizing Melbourne's east and southeast with construction jobs, green spaces, and rapid transit. But the real kicker? Why is Australia pouring billions into this railway titan, and how are engineers turning this dream into reality? Stay tuned as we dive deep into this epic journey of innovation and determination. Get ready for a shocker. Melbourne, Australia, is grappling with a population boom like never before. With over 5 million residents now, and a projected surge to 9 million by 2050, Melbourne is on track to become the country's most populous city. And here's a jaw-dropper. It's also the world's most car-dependent city. Half of Melburnians drive to work, while a mere 5% use public transport. Imagine the nightmare. Morning traffic in the western suburbs, as thousands flock to the inner city for work wasting 79 precious hours each year stuck in traffic jams. A 20-minute car ride from nearby suburbs, or a 45-minute train journey from Pakenham to Flinders Street, is the daily drill. But wait, there's more. With roads at breaking point, travel becomes a slow, uncomfortable slow, draining wallets and patience. And if a train or bus is late or cancelled, that's a recipe for widespread frustration and stress. According to Australia's urban transport crowding, if there's no clever infrastructure solution, the annual cost of road congestion could skyrocket to a whopping $39.8 billion by 2031. And with the population explosion in Melbourne's outskirts, expect even worse traffic, air pollution, and health risks. Here's a stat Staggering fact, traffic pollution in Melbourne causes 10 times more premature deaths than road accidents, affecting over 11,000 adults and leading to thousands of hospitalizations due to heart and respiratory issues. Even kids aren't safe with a higher risk of asthma and lung infections from toxic vehicle emissions. As Melbourne's outer suburbs swell, the rail, bus, and tram networks are bracing for a 52% increase in passengers by 2031. This screams for a cutting-edge public transport system. While metro stations in Hong Kong, Paris, and London set efficiency benchmarks, Australian rail hubs lag behind, outdated and disconnected from the urban community. That's where the game-changing $125 billion mega railway project comes in. The Melbourne Metro Tunnel will carve a new path through the central business district, while the suburban rail loop aims to enhance connectivity and take the pressure off the roads. This is more than just a project, it's a revolution in urban transport. June 2022 marked the kickoff of an extraordinary chapter in Melbourne's transport story, the construction of SRL East. Fast forward to October 2022, and an eye-popping $11 billion from the federal budget was poured into this ambitious venture. Let's zoom in on SRL East, the first phase of this mega railway project. Picture a 26-kilometer tunnel weaving its way from Cheltenham to Box Hill in the north, complete with six brand new underground stations and revamped interchanges at existing rail hubs like Cheltenham, Clayton, Glen Waverley, and Box Hill. Now, get ready for the Clayton Interchange, a future transport superhub. It's set to revolutionize connectivity along the Dandenong Corridor and the regional Gippsland line services, cutting travel time drastically and generating up to 8,000 local jobs. Talk about making an impact. These six underground stations aren't just any stations. They're being crafted using a bottom-up construction method. This involves digging a massive trench, then using various machines to build from the ground up. These stations aren't just stops on a line. They're set to transform Melbourne's entire infrastructure landscape. The SRL East route will feature two exceptional suburban rail loop stations at Monash and Burwood, a train stabling facility at Heatherton, and essential support structures like an emergency and ventilation facility at Mount Waverley and a power supply substation at Burwood. Dive 17 meters below the surface, and you'll find the new Cheltenham station with an entrance on Bay Road. This station is your gateway to all corners of Melbourne's suburbs and its heart, offering easy access to major healthcare facilities, entertainment spots, and shopping centers. It even links up with the Southland Station, 
offering Frankston line passengers a direct line to universities like Deakin, Monash, and La Trobe. By 2035, about 8,000 passengers are expected to swarm the Cheltenham SRL station daily, whisking them from Cheltenham to Box Hill in 22 minutes and to Clayton in just 10. And Clayton's underground station, just north of Carnish Road, it's 18 meters deep with two levels, fully equipped with escalators for easy access. This super hub is set to handle 90,000 transfers daily, with trains branching out in four directions, making it a pivotal node for regional and city train services like the Cranbourne and Gippsland lines. Get ready to be blown away by the new Monash station, a game changer for Melbourne's bustling employment and innovation hub. For the first time ever, students, workers, and travelers will have a direct train connection, opening doors to top-tier education and facilities. By 2035, expect a crowd of about 9,000 daily passengers at Monash Station. Now, let's talk about the Glen Waverley Station. This underground marvel, 17 meters below the surface, will be a key player in the metropolitan network, offering rapid access to essential amenities in both the south and north of Glen Waverley. Its single entrance on Coleman Parade, complemented by a nearby plaza for bus services and bike parking, is all about convenience and connectivity. Burwood Station is all set to revolutionize access to some of Australia's leading universities, especially Deakin University. Imagine zipping from Cheltenham to Burwood in under 20 minutes, saving students an hour on their daily round trip. The Box Hill Station takes integration to the next level. It's where local tram and bus services meet, making it a breeze to reach premier hospitals in the area. Here's the kicker. SRL East is projected to slash road congestion by a whopping 47%, turning 70,000 daily car trips into quick, efficient train journeys. This isn't just about easing travel, it's about a $60 billion boost in economic, social, and environmental benefits. Moving on to SRL North, which links Box Hill with Melbourne Airport, seven new stations will emerge, including Doncaster, Heidelberg, Bundora, Reservoir, Faulkner, Broadmeadows, and Melbourne Airport. This means faster travel from Broadmeadows to the airport, boosting business and tourism. Expect this section to be up and running by 2053. But wait, there's more. The construction of SRL West, connecting Melbourne Airport to Werribee, will dovetail with other major projects like the Melbourne Metro Tunnel and the Sunbury Line upgrade. The timeline for this segment is still under wraps, so stay tuned for more updates on this transformative journey. SRL West is set to revolutionize Melbourne's West, bringing much-needed accessibility to key areas like the vibrant Sunshine Precinct, Victoria University, Sunshine Hospital, and the Joan Kerner Women's and Children's Hospital. This colossal railway project is a beacon of hope for Australians, promising a brighter future with enhanced quality of life. It's expected to create an astounding 550,000 jobs, pave the way for thousands of affordable homes, and vastly improve air and water quality. And here's a big win for commuters. It aims to reduce traffic congestion significantly by removing around 600,000 cars from the roads every day. This isn't just a project, it's a transformation for a better tomorrow. Get ready for a monumental shift in Melbourne's future, all thanks to this once-in-a-generation mega railway project. Spearheaded by a squad of top-notch engineers, this venture is poised to redefine the cutting edge of infrastructure. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this sneak peek into Melbourne's future, smash that like button, share this video, and subscribe for more. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so drop a comment below. And remember, hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on our next exciting update. See you in the next video.